Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is Apple's latest colors for their iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Every year, it seems, or at least the past year or so, they've released new colors. Last year, we had a new purple color. So now we have green and alpine green on the Pro models. So first, let's take a look at these as far as unboxing them, and then we'll take a look at the wallpaper and more. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by Anchor. So this is green for the iPhone 13, and this is the 128 gigabyte model. So so you can see that here and this particular one comes in at the same price as the others. In fact, there's no price difference or no spec differences. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now I think this is probably the most controversial one, this green color, but let's open it up and see what we've got. So I haven't seen this in person. And that's a pretty dark green, maybe a forest green. So you can see that here. We'll go around the outside edge in a moment, but inside the box, we just have your typical lightning to USB-C cable for charging. And then in the box, we shouldn't have anything different, really just a SIM card tool, as well as maybe a warranty card. I wish they would have matching Apple stickers, maybe one day in the future. We do see that, that on some products as well. Now let's set the box aside. We'll take a closer look around the phone. So let me take the cover off the front. And as you can see around the outside edge, of course, it's going to be the exact same as before, but it's a nice matte finish all the way around. It's sort of a forest green color. Like I said, very dark or deep green, and you may love this or you may not, but some people really like this color. And I think the matte finish looks really good. So on all these different surfaces, and I think it looks great. No different specs, just the color. And let's take a look at the iPhone 13 pro max. Now, like I said, it comes in the pro or pro max form, and this is the pro max in 256 gigabytes. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you'll know that my pro max here, the blue one, I have quite a few scratches on it. So I thought we'd take a look at this one, compare it and maybe get the screen replaced on that one. Now let's go ahead and open this up. So we'll take the bottom and top tab off. No more plastic on these. So that's something they've changed with this year. Let's open it up. So here is the green color. And so we'll set this aside for just a moment. That's Alpine green and inside the same things, just a larger Apple sticker, but nothing really different. So let's put that aside, put that down. Let's take off the front cover and go around the outside edge. And again, now on the pro and pro max models, we have stainless steel. So we've got this glossy finish. I kind of wish they would adopt the matte finish, even though they had to use aluminum for it. Maybe you could do that with stainless steel somehow but you get the idea. It's nice and glossy. And then on the back, it's sort of a matte green color. Now, just like all of the recent iPhones, we don't get a charger in the box, but if you need a charger, that's where the official charging partner of Zolotech comes in anchor. This is the anchor 521 or nano pro, and it's the latest in the nano pro lineup. It charges the latest Apple devices faster and smarter. It has a 40 watt maximum charging speed, which is double the power of the original 20 watt charger. It can charge your MacBook air at full speed from either port, or you can connect an iPad air and an iPhone and charge them at full speed together. The nano pro also has active shield, which is an all new safety system that offers enhanced protection. It monitors temperature and a power tuner chip adjusts to ensure maximum power output. Anchor 521 Nano Pro comes in four fresh finishes, Arctic White, Black Ice, Glacier Blue, and Cool Lavender. Anchor's best-selling single port 511 Nano Pro is still available and now comes in a new pink color. I'll leave a link to them so you can check them out in the description below. Now with this new Alpine green, I do like this. I don't know if this is right for everyone. It's pretty deep as far as the color goes. So it's not a light green. And I wanted to show you this next to the iPhone 11 pro that Apple had in green a little while ago. So here is Apple's 11 pro max in green next to the 13 pro max in Alpine green. So they're a very different color. The 11 pro max is almost closer to maybe a space gray in certain light, but the 13 pro max Alpine green is pretty green in just about everything. If you look at the camera, bumps here, you can see the difference. So there's definitely a deeper green color. Now compared to what we have with the blue Sierra blue this time, you can see it here. So side by side, there's very stark differences between the colors. So some really love blue, some really love green. In fact, I did a 
Twitter poll to see what you thought was best. So I wanted to share that with you now. Now on the Twitter poll, I said, what is your favorite iPhone color? 25% preferred green or Alpine green. 47% said blue or Sierra blue. 10% said red and 18% said other, whether that be jet black from the iPhone seven or graphite from the 13 pro or 12 pro, or maybe space gray or silver or gold. So most people prefer blue. It seems this time around. Now, as far as the green goes, let's go ahead and boot these up, get them set up, and then we'll take a look at the wallpapers, see what they look like. So we'll just turn these on here and I'll get them set up in just a moment. We'll give it just a moment. But like I said, the specs are exactly the same. No difference there. You just have the new colors. So just like they did last year, they released some new colors this year. I really wish Apple would release maybe a red color or maybe just something new. Maybe an orange would look good as well. Now you can see both phones are set up. I'm actually restoring a backup from my 13 pro max and Sierra blue to this new Alpine green one. And you can see it's setting that up now, but first let's take a look at what iOS version shipped with this iPhone. So if we go to our settings, then general, then about, you'll see it actually shipped with iOS 15.4 or 19 E 241. This is the same version that released earlier in the week to everyone else. You'll see it's restoring here. Let's take a look at the wallpaper. Now we only have new live wallpaper on this phone, and this is the same. If you have a 13 pro or pro max, you'll actually have this wallpaper available with iOS 15.4. So you can see what it looks like, press and hold, and it sort of moves a little bit. Here's another one and that's it. So that's the wallpaper on the 13 pro max or 13 pro. Let's take a look at the wallpaper on the 13. So we'll go to settings and there's only live wallpaper here, but here's the wallpaper again, it's a live wallpaper. So it moves and it gives you an idea of what it looks like. So that shows you exactly what it looks like. Let's set that. And there we go. And so that's it this time around, just some green iPhones, not a whole lot of differences, but they have some new colors. I'm curious to know what you like best, despite what I showed in that poll that I did on Twitter. Do you like the Sierra blue? Do you like the new green, the Alpine green, or would you like to see Apple maybe release a new red one, maybe for iPhone 14 or maybe orange or some other color? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. One other quick thing to note is wow, is this a fingerprint magnet? The iPhone 13, this darker color, you'll see all the fingerprints it picked up just from filming this video. So it was clean right before. So get yourself a case or maybe something else. And on the 13 pro max, I wish they would add that matte side. Like I said, of course, I'll leave a link to these wallpaper in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.